Uber will from the end of this month stop offering its low-cost Uber Pop service, the one that uses regular people as drivers, in Norway due to questions over the service's legality. With Sweden, Denmark and Finland all having given Uber Pop the cold shoulder, the latest shutdown means the service is unavailable across all of Scandinavia. In a Monday post that described the move as a pause, Uber said it would continue to offer Oslo residents its Uber Black Limo service and its Uber XXL service for ferrying larger groups of people. However, Uber claimed it wanted to limit any issues that drivers may encounter on the road, so until the regulatory acceptability of Uber Pop is clearer in Norway, it's off the road in Oslo. The issues faced by Uber Pop drivers in Norway are serious they could lose their driving licenses and even their cars, because the service is illegal and the authorities have been cracking down on it in recent months. Uber threatened to leave Norway a few months ago, in protest at what it sees as unfair regulations that favor traditional taxi firms. But those have been an eventful few months, with combative CEO Travis Kalanick being ousted and replaced by Dara Khosrow-Shahi. Uber's public relations machine is very keen to pitch Khosrow-Shahi as a more conciliatory figure who is giving the company a new character. In particular, the new CEO is trying to make nice with authorities across the countries where Uber is having regulatory difficulties. The biggest example of this so far has been his apology to Londoners after that city effectively banned the service by refusing to extend its operating license. The language in Monday's Oslo-related post reflected this change of style we've learned the hard way that we must change as a company in order to serve the millions of riders and drivers who rely on us. With our new CEO Dara Khosrowshahi on board, it's a new era for Uber. The post continued Uber's agitation for new rules, pointing to Finland, where Uber was also forced to suspend its services, for an example of progressive new rules. Uber said it would unpause its Helsinki services when a new law comes into effect next year, and that it would do the same in Oslo once lawmakers make a re-entry possible.